there are many unknowns about the effect of the chemotherapies, their uh, mechanism of action, things like that. So one of those drugs is called methotrexate. And it's super cool because first it was the first metabolic drug ever used. It was the first targeted drug ever developed. It's super old, so it um, was first found by Sidney Farber here in Boston um, more than 60 years ago. And it's still used in the clinic. It's very effective. But when I look at the literature, I realized that up until the 70s, people really cared. It's an antifolate, which targets you know, folic acid, which we're all uh, familiar with. Um, and people studied folic acid and studied the antifolate, and there was lots of um, uh, new findings, very cool findings, in regards to the mechanism of action of the drug. And then um, in the last, I can say easily, like since the 80s, there weren't um, many new findings in regards to that drug. Um, not because it's not important, not because it is used less, it is actually widely used in the clinic. Um, I think because of lack of tools. Um, however, we do have access to these genetic tools that allow us to ask questions in a way that was not allowed before. For example, um, we can use a CRISPR screen and ask, instead of focusing on what is known about methotrexate, we can ask what is unknown about methotrexate. We can find new genes that are involved in the response of cells to the drug that were not found before just because the tools were not there. So this is what we did. We used methotrexate because um, of all the things I mentioned. We used CRISPR screen because it's a fantastic tool. Um, it is very powerful. It is very precise. We got um, very reliable results when we used it in, in the past. And so uh, we did the screen, and we found indeed new biology using the screen. So we found a pathway that was actually known um, in the 70s to be part of the folate metabolism, or folic acid metabolism. This is the word that most people are familiar with. Um, but not, it was never associated with methotrexate itself. Um, so it was an interesting finding when we, when we found that gene in the screen that was part of the histidine degradation pathway. We said, okay, this is interesting because the gene is known to, to utilize uh, folate and methotrexate, what it does, it hurts the cells by um, depletion of folate. So that immediately clicked as something that there is some interesting uh, finding here. And what was further interesting for us was the fact that nobody ever described this connection between methotrexate and the histidine degradation pathway. And of course, immediately also in the back of our heads, we realized the potential of working with um, a pathway, a metabolic pathway, that is involved um, with, in catabolism of an amino acid. If we can improve therapy through any modification of something as simple as an amino acid, we have it in our egg, we have it in our um, you know, chicken that we eat, right? Um, things that are as simple as that are always promising to us.